Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but uh, Spin Tires Mud Runners just got released, so uh, yeah, I'm going to play a lot more Spin Tires. It's been like, I don't know, maybe a year since the last time I played. Um, so I'll have to get used to some more controls. Um, I just did a tutorial, that's about it. This is a new map called uh, The Bog. And um, it's pretty much already halfway uncloaked when you start, and you can see multiple vehicles already. Um, yeah, and I have an A class, so that's a Jeep again, or not a Jeep, but whatever, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> It used to be the UAZ, I think this is still a UAZ as well. And we have two other trucks. Um, but I'll use the UAZ and uh, start exploring, I guess. I'll just go and unlock these vehicles as well. And then I'll start uncloaking the map. Then if I need to get unstuck, I can use the one of those trucks as well. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, let's see what we can do for attachments. That, that's always handy. Repair points, more repair points, let's go. So the controls are, I don't know, pretty similar than as before, I think. Although you have a lot more, it's it's a lot more easy to know what button you need because it actually says it now. And I'm using an Xbox controller, and then yeah, it shows what button is what. So that's really easy. I'm in hardcore mode, so that means with the old spin tires you can't use diff lock if you're in automatic gear, which I am at the moment. Well, the camera is still the same camera as before, so not easy. So yeah, if you're in uh, automatic mode, you can't use diff lock, and then if you put it in first, oh, they change the way the gears are as well. And now I can use diff lock, but you don't want to overuse that because then you get damage as well. Um, so far the game, to me, it seems graphically a lot better. It seems a lot more uh, yeah, detailed. Graphic-wise, but the mud and stuff like that just still seems the same. I think some stuff sticks to your car more now. But uh, the trees and bushes and stuff like that is a lot more diverse, I think. Let's put it in 1 plus. Get some more speed. And uh, I think the models are a bit more detailed as well. Oh, yeah, and we have cockpit view now. Nice. But then I can see where I'm going relative. Oh, stuck. Uh, I can see where I'm going on my compass or whatever that is. Let's turn the plug on. Oh these branches always getting stuck on the branches. There we go. Ah, there we have another truck. Whoa. Watch out. Let's see, you can actually drive that one. Uh, change truck. Yeah, it has fuel, so that's nice. But I'll continue exploring in the UAZ. 
No, still has to turn parking brake off all the time. Let's put it in first again. Ooh, water. The water seems a bit different as well. And the sounds are a little bit different, I think. So they changed pretty much everything a, a little bit, but other than that, it just feels like the same old game. Which is fine because I like spin tires a lot. But it's nice they added some more maps and uh, I'm not really sure if the original maps are all in here as well. Or if they changed those. Since it is an entirely new game, the sold is a new game. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Hmm. Can we go through these trees? Oh, we can follow the shore maybe. Some big rocks here. Drive around them. I think uh, mods mods are already supported as well. The, the, the Steam Workshop. Hey, I had a branch stuck to my car, but it's gone already. Let's drive through some more branches. Uh, and we unlocked another one. Whoa, what's on the back of that? Let's see. That's new. Some sort of grabbing device. Uh, let's try it. Rotate and lift, and we can grab. Are there any trees nearby that we can grab? I still need to get used to the controls again. Uh, is there a lumber yard or something? Lock kiosk, it's not really nearby. Then there's another truck as well. Okay. Uh, how much fuel does this have? We'll leave this one here and explore some more. The sounds uh, improved a lot, I think. Follow this road a bit. I think the mud is splashing around a bit more, or it's 
not really splashing, but being thrown in the air a bit more. Didn't take any damage yet. Normally, with the no old spin tires, I would have taken damage for sure from just by randomly driving over something or going over a bump a bit too fast. But no, so far, no damage yet. Now we need to go right. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. It's got damage instantly. Some rocks underneath the water. I'm getting stuck. Let's see if we can see something here. I'll use mouse, it's easier. Um, we need to go left and then just follow the road again. So uh, they added a lot of uh, different modes as well, or at least I know of one new mode called challenge mode, which is challenges you need to do on normal maps, I think, and um, yeah, you have to complete some tasks. This is just a normal hardcore mode I used to play uh, with the normal sprint tires as well, which means you just have to uh yeah drop lumber points at all the lumber mills and if you drop all the points on every mill you finish the map basically and you can do it in whatever your way you like and the hardcore mode means i didn't actually read what hardcore means with the new version but normally it was like uh, you can't reset a car and you use more fuel and that's about the most important part <laughs> although knowing thing about this not being able to reset the car is if you get stuck or something like that then you really have a problem which I am doing right now because this is a deep mud so it seems and we're not really close to any trees anymore just keep the throttle on. Come on. I want to make it at least to the cloak. Or oh, it's called a watch point now. And there's a tower near it. Okay, I don't want to stop here, so I'll just keep driving to wherever I think we need to go. Trick is with mud like that is this is uh, to not press the throttle too hard and dig yourself in ah come on I 
if I'm close to trees again then I'm not that scared of stopping so since I can use a winch then There we go. Okay, let's see. Ah, annoying controls. Mm, yeah, let's go to this one, and then to this one, and this one, so we uncloak everything. Yeah, they. I. It's, yeah, we have a bit of branches stuck to the car again, but they disappear really quickly, which is a shame. But it's a fun addition, like, at least. No, watch it. Come on. I'm not using that much fuel either. It doesn't really feel like hardcore. I need to go right here. Yeah, I need to go the other way. Put it in reverse. Ah, there's another watch point. Let's cut through here. more damage dash meters and stuff like that I think it's a bit annoying that guy is staring so much though even though I'm only doing small inputs mirrors aren't working either you can't really look out of the car. Oh, where am I going? Seems like a bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. Okay, let's try to winch. Uh, let's see. Taunt. Oh, we just in range. Oh, lights are working. There we go. Try not to get stuck again. The 
This car really has trouble in going through the water. Okay, back on the road. seen that before. Seems new as well. I haven't seen this type of bridge on the old spin tires. Pretty muddy car as well. Seems a lot more realistic than before as well. No, oh, I don't get into the deep tracks. I can see it another, another uh, what's this called? Waypoint? No, uh, Luca Point, I think, was it? Watch Point, that was it. There we go. No watchtower here. So, let's. Just one more, I think, yeah. Okay, let's go to that one as well. Oh, it's getting dark. What time is it now? Ah, it's 8 at, no at the evening. I'm wondering if they added weather as well. I haven't read anything about the new version, actually. I've watched a couple of the trailer videos and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I haven't read any news about it. Or not much, at least. This is a big incline. I'm really sure if we can make that. Put that block on. Come on, car. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a nice thing about small recon vehicle. You can just drive through the trees and don't really have to follow the road. Ooh, frogs. Oh, that's easy. It was all by accident. Getting the winch connected. I actually want to turn on the lights. How do you disconnect again? There we go. Uh, so how do you turn on the lights? There before. Ah, there we go. Uh, and that's the horn. Okay, lights are working. I'm stuck right like this. What does this look like in first person? That's pretty cool, actually. Would be fun if this would... Um, support uh, Oculus Rift as well. Be able to look around in the car. And then I, I could use the steering wheel as well. Oh, I'm getting stuck again.
these are strange trees. <laughs> no tree tops. I shouldn't be driving in the water. I think the lighting is a lot better than what it was in spin tires, the old one. And the old one would was better to turn off the lights to actually see what you were doing. Because then well yeah maybe it's still the same in this one as well because What's well, not as bad because now you can actually see around you, and if you turn on the lights, uh, that that's not as bad as before. Then you wouldn't be able to see. Everything else would get dark instead of just where you were looking would get lighter. So I would never turn on the lights because it wouldn't help me much. But now it actually does help there we go first achievement unlocked nice Okay, so we uncovered the whole map. I think I'll end the video here for now, and then next time, next time maybe I'll try a challenge in one of the maps, and then after that I'll start doing some logging, I guess. There's a lumber mill, garage. Yeah, we can unlock the garage as well. Maybe we should do that first. Try to unlock the garage with one of those trucks over here. Can we switch to those? Yeah. Okay, I'll end the video here for now. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions or tips or whatever, um, I'm pretty fresh again. Not really used to playing spin tires for a while. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or whatever, let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.